All right, so I have uh, three reviews today. Um, I don't know if I'm putting them all up tonight or not, but um, I'll be at least putting up the first two. Um, so I'm going to start out with uh, the release of Superman number one, which just came out um, today, and I yeah I got there, and um, I think I might as well just get right to it. Um, this is the Superman that's going to be in the DC Universe, essentially. Um, he's the Superman that's uh, not in Action Comics. I mean, it's the same guy. I mean, just younger in Action Comics. But this this shows what su he's going to become. This is what Superman is in this new universe. Um, and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but um, along with, with this reboot, the Superman universe itself in the story is going through the same changes as, as um, you know, the the real people are. Um, it's Clark dealing with with these changes to the city and these changes to, um, you know, everything and 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 it's it's interesting. Um, it's essentially uh just like a one shot. Um, it it. It just set up kind of the the universe of Superman now, and it's just one story. Um, Clark, uh, part of it is Clark narrating um, through the story he wrote for the Daily Planet. Lois is uh, signed on to do a you know be a TV anchor, and um, it, he doesn't like that. He still he still believes in the newspaper and and being able to use the press to to reveal the story. And that's really interesting. Um, so, I mean, right off the bat, uh, Lois and Clark are, are having issues. They're friends, but, um, you know, they're having issues. There's obviously a lot of touching moments in this, uh, especially closer to the last couple pages. Um, and I was, I was, when I, while reading this, I was kind of thinking about um, Manos, the real Manos, his review on Wonder Woman, where he was talking about how. Um, you know, it didn't really seem like they had a story arc yet, and they were just kind of making a, you know, one story, and, um, he loved it because it felt like Wonder Woman was just, you know, it was just Wonder Woman, finally. It was just a Wonder Woman story that was just fun to read, and that's exactly what this was. Um, it was, it didn't, it, it introduced some, some plots that could be happening in the future, but it didn't, it didn't have a continuation at the end, it, it just ends, and, um... I think that was a good choice because um, it was really just it was an enjoyable, had a lot of action, a lot of uh, romance, a lot of um, you know plot, and it was really cool. The new villains really interesting, and um, I really liked that. Um, it just felt like a, a Superman story, and that really felt good because um, I mean action did too, but it has a continuation. This this felt you know, what I've been looking for. I feel like what I've been looking for for a while. Um, you know, with all this stuff going on, you know, with before this, where it was, you know, the Krypton, st the new Krypton stuff, the grounded stuff, um, it just didn't feel like Superman. It felt like they were just trying to come up with gimmicks that were making no sense and that were just kind of straying from Superman. And it feels good to see him back in Metropolis fighting just a monster and having everybody report it and... Um, doing some cool feats, and I really like it. Uh, I really like that about this this issue. Um, I'm excited um, for the next issue. I'm going to be picking that up. Um, this is going to be kind of a short review because I'm not going to be really talking about it much. Um, I just recommend picking it up. If you liked action, um, if, if, let me think. If you, if you liked action and you liked how they changed you know, Superman's personality, you're going to like this. Um... Because it's not, he's not as overboard like he is in action. He's not just running around, you know, throwing people into walls or anything. But he, he's not as uh, quiet. He talks a little more. Um, it, it's kind of funny because, you know, when I, you know, before this, um, it felt like Clark was talking a lot. You know, he was the one that, he basically had all the dialogue, that's when you listen to what he had to say. And then, um, when he was Superman, he really didn't say much. He kind of was just 
doing his own thing. And this is kind of opposite. Clark's kind of a loner trying to stray away from people. Um, he's walking around, you know, kind of just trying to stay out of the light. And with with this one, uh, with Superman, he, he talks more. He's a little more open. And he's a little more, you know, he's he's a little lighter. And I really like that about what, what with what they did with the character, and I'm really glad that they did that because I think it it works pretty well. Um, you know, there's really not much else I can say about this issue. It's a good issue. It's a good start. Um, I'm excited to see how you know the plot progresses, and I want to see more Superman and stuff. And um, I have to say, don't let the art on the cover discourage you, um, because the art on the cover isn't very good. But inside, it's very good, and, and he proves it with the first shot of Superman that they show. I really like the costume in that. The costume in the front, it kind of feels like they just didn't know exactly how to draw the new Superman. So, don't let that discourage you. But, um, yeah.